Hello there and welcome to your Scorpio New Moon Lunar Energy Forecast. Um, I do apologize for the delay. This is from the 15th to the 30th of November 2020. So I'm just going to start off with the Psychic Tarot and see what the major energies that are playing out for you with this um, New Moon Energy that's come into your play. Is happening for Leo, which is the 15th and 30th of November 2020. Scorpion New Moon, please. And it's reading. Okay. One more, please. Okay, so the first one that fell out, number eight, accelerated motion. Things are moving along really, really quickly. The universe is working in your favor. <laughs> number five, financial and material changes. Nice. As long as they're positive changes. Yes, nice. Okay, I'm just going to put that aside and read the messages from the book for you so you can see exactly what this is about. Okay, so this is in the spiritual realm, Accelerated Emotions, and page 147. Just for now. <clears throat> okay, so number eight, Accelerated Emotion has to say, this card represents speed, flight, swift movement, hope, passion, and above all, endings to delays. The conditions around you are perfect and appear to be rapidly heading in the direction of your goals and desires. Luck is on your side and your enthusiasm is at an all-time high. Brace yourself as you finally witness the manifestation as of what you've been work, work sorry, sorry about that of what you've worked for and visualized. This is a call for initiative, but you should also ask yourself, is there anything else in my life that I need to act on now? Be wise and take advantage of these ideal conditions. Now isn't the time for you to fight against the river of life. Trust, have faith, and go with the flow. This strong current is taking you to a positive outcome and future. Wow. <laughs> That's a very beautiful card to start the reading off with. So. Okay, and let's have a look at your other card. Sorry, man. <laughs> okay, in the physical world, we have financial material changes. Mm -hmm. So, mater material and financial changes says. The number five physical card represents changes, challenges, and losses, usually related to material or financial concerns. You may be losing some of the things around you, but you must acknowledge and know that besides existing as a physical being, you are an incredible and resourceful spiritual entity. Use your powerful force within to help you through this difficult period. Everything changes for a reason, and this time isn't meant to be a punishment. Know that your current conditions will transform for the better. A positive question to ask yourself now is, what did I learn from this, and how can I avoid it in the future? Remember that there are lessons to be understood in everything. It's up to you and you alone to decide how long it will take for you to learn them. That's a very good point. Okay, let us begin the reading and see what the past, present and future has, has <laughs> energy wise um, with the Moonology Oracle. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> so what was in the past for Leo for this reading for the 15th to the 30th of November please. For the Scorpion Moon. Leo. 15th to the 30th. We have a win win outcome is forecast in the past. It's full moon in Libra. Nice. Okay, and what's happening in the present for Leo? For this reading for the Scorpion Moon. For 15th to the 30th. We have waxing moon. This in the energy is gaining momentum. Very nice. What do we have in the future for a year for this reading, please? <laughs> First quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. It's funny, I actually heard this earlier today, where I'm motivated to get certain things done, so the universe is going to test me and challenge me by putting little obstacles and little triggers in the way to just kind of make me grr, so that I'll, you know, lose focus and waste time and not get on with what I'm doing. It's sort of testing my commitment. So very much so, I believe that's in, on the cards for you in the future, Leo, but 
Remember, when you're making changes, the universe tests your conviction on those changes. <laughs> it really does. Especially when you're breaking free of bad habits and people that no longer serve your highest and greatest good. <laughs> Funny how we're talking about that. Okay, let's see what these cards have to say. So, for a win-win outcome, can I please have six cards? To elaborate on what was going on in the past for Leo. In this reading, this is what you're going to tell you. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles, then we have the Five of Cups, then we have Justice. All up right. Knight of Pentacles. That is a Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is a workhorse, so this is about slow moving progress towards a very much desired goal. Um, a people plus. <laughs> A person, a place, or a thing. Something in the physical world, basically, that you can see, touch, taste, smell, hear. Then we have Five of Cups, the card of emotional loss. It's about focusing on the loss that has taken place in your life and the cups that have spilled over, the relationships that have failed or, you know, projects, anything that you're emotionally invested in that has failed rather than what is actually going for you, which is more the attitude of gratitude, which we really do need to try and foster a bit more. <laughs> It helps, it changes everything. Then we have the Justice card. This can be representing a Libra, um, but it can be literally about someone going into court. Um, karma, you know, somebody that's done you wrong, receiving their justice from the universe, something like that. But we will look at that once I've pulled all the cards for you. Let's just see what else. Another three cards for the past, for when we upcome this forecast. Funny, when we now come as forecast, and then we had the justice card. So I really feel like somebody may be going to court, or there may be some sort of um, negotiations of some description. Which is funny, I'm saying that three of pentacles. This is about people coming together, discussing things about. You know, generally it's about realization, recognition, noticing how far someone's come, how much progress somebody's made, or it, when it's followed by the when it's following the justice card, it can actually imply that. Um, there is some sort of legal matter going on and there'll be discussions in regards to that. Um, so this could be like a divorce, a separation, something like that, where you have to go into mediation or, you know, um, conciliation or some sort of negotiations on property or children, custody, things like that, possibly. That could definitely be playing out for some of you. But let's see what else the card has to say. What else comes up to the definitely in-depth discussion going on in that card like that guy there his face is very focused okay that one <laughs> um so yeah he's just he's looking very serious and very involved in whatever it is that he's talking about then we have the six of cups six of cups soulmate connection past life connection something like that it's a very twin flame card um so there is a divine counterpart soulmate twin flame something like that in the mix here or you may have met them, or they might just be sort of coming into your reality through meditations and things like that. That is definitely possible. <clears throat> and so the last card in the past, please. For Leo, for this reading. <laughs> the Tower card. So, something has come to an end. Whatever has come to an end in the past um, was built on unstable foundations. False foundations. It was not real. It was not meant to last. The universe did not intend for whatever it was that came to an end to you know, make it for the long haul in your life or your reality, let's just say that. So let's see what the cards are for the current energy. So in the current energy, we've got Waxing Moon, the energy is gaining momentum. Let's see what six tarot cards can elaborate on what's happening there. King of Cups, Water Sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be a masculine, can be a feminine, but with predominantly masculine traits or energies. Um, <clears throat> this person knows how to rise above the sea of emotions that can sometimes dwell up in them. Water signs are highly emotional human beings. <laughs> so, you know, being highly emotional and being able to stay on top of those emotions and rise above them, that can be really important at times. Okay, then we have the judgment card. It's about second chances, realizations, epiphanies, you know, it's possible because it's beneath the Five of Cups. It's possible that somebody may be in the present time, present energy, coming back for us for a reconciliation. Someone that was one of these cups of love that spilled over in the past in your life. Um, 
shower, I'm not sure you're interested. <laughs> this could be a request in a second chance, you know? Or, you know, please give me another chance. But maybe you're not interested in giving anybody another chance. Okay. So the next card we've got is the Ten of Pentacles. See, this is the thing. You're more interested in building a future, an empire, something tangible, something long-lasting, something serious. <clears throat> and this is possibly a request from somebody. But then we've got the card of being left out in the cold coming up after that. So, <laughs> whoever it is that wants a second chance, I have a feeling that you really don't want it. Like, they really do see a future, they want to build something with you, but you're not interested, Leo. Uh, maybe you've learned from past experience. <laughs> comes next up to five pentacles. Which I don't blame you. You know, there's a lot of... <laughs> five of pentacles, eight of cups. So feeling left out in the cold, then walking away from love or some sort of connection, relationship, um, emotion, you know, emotional attachment, emotional connection. What's the final card for the current energy, please? There's too many cards. Okay, if that's the one, please send it out. Uh, final card in the present for Leo for the 15th to the 30th of November. That's what we're doing. <laughs> There, then we've got five of ones, the card of immature, petty, fighting, quarreling, almost bossy, bitchy, narcissistic kind of energy. Somebody that wants to feel like they're better than everybody else, they're smarter, they're more capable, that they're the better person, blah, 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 blah. This is underneath that tower energy, so I feel like you might know who it is. Um, someone that's already ruffled your feathers quite a bit, possibly. Let's see what the present, uh, sorry, what the future has to hold. Okay, so the, your commitment is being tested in the first quarter moon. This is the future energy, so let's see what the cards have to say about that. What goes with your commitment is being tested? Nine of Cups, the universe. Wishes granted, I just heard. The universe is about to grant some wishes for you. Very heartfelt wishes. Um, okay, what comes next after Nine of Cups in the future? Here we have the Nine of Wands, feeling tired, exhausted, drained, tired of fighting, battling, having to defend yourself, all that kind of thing. Um, however, knowing that this fight is not over yet, this battle, this is just the end of a battle. The war is not yet done, you know. You're in the middle of a war, there are small battles that you have along the way. This is the end of a battle, you're having a rest, and you're going to run back into the battlefield to go for it again. That's unfortunately that end. Yeah. What else do we have? Just need to check these cards. Okay, so then we have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a messenger, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be you feeling like the messenger, having something very passionate and, you know, stuff that you've learnt, um, a hard sought after lesson kind of thing. You've gone through a lot of growth and a lot of evolution and you're feeling enthusiastic and there's a lot of sort of pure innocence about this energy as well. So I like it. But you have a lot to share, you've come a long way. And this could be you or somebody else um, in your energy, but we'll have a look at the cards more closely in a moment. What comes after the Page of Wands, please? In this reading. The King of Swords, Air Science, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, very much a person that has been through a lot, healed a lot. They've come to a point where the things that had once he, um, ha sorry, hurt them and you know one of their traumas would usually make them cry it's not something that actually triggers you anymore you've come a really really long way like you can see the butterfly on his throne okay there's multiple butterflies there butterflies are symbolic of transformation so you've gone through quite an intense transformation whether it's you or somebody else around you um really <laughs> I'm look, as soon as I said so you or somebody around you, it's like whoever was feeling left out in the cold. It's almost like it was a blessing in disguise. That's what I feel like. Whoever it was that was feeling left out in the cold is coming back as the King of Swords, which is quite a balanced and healed person. They're quite calm and stable and aware, very quick-witted, very smart, very intelligent, very organized. Um, yeah, they have all their ducks in the room. <laughs> Alright, so what comes after the King of Swords? Wow. The Hierophant. 
So this is spiritual union energy, definitely. This has been coming up for a few of these readings. So I do believe for twin flames and divine counterparts and soulmates, there is a lot of divine intervention going on to bring us together, um, to, you know, release the karmics from the contracts that they have had and to actually wake people up. So I believe this is almost like a little bit of divine intervention, but this is where you're headed in the future. Um, there is a spiritual connection or a soul connection that is coming into your life. Now, this can sometimes represent marriage. So for some of you, I believe that, yes, marriage may be on the cards. Um, however, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, this can be just the coming together of two very equal, very balanced um, spiritual beings. <laughs> What's the final card in the future for this reading for Leo? For the 15th to the 30th of November, please. Soon. <laughs> Alright, so Star Card. Star Card is the final card for this reading. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, that can represent Aquarius. <clears throat> Does not have to. However, it's a card of immense, profound, deep healing. <laughs> You're, um, and also balance. Uh, there is one foot in the water, one foot on the land. So it's almost like balancing the emotions and the mind you know, um being able to stay grounded under any circumstances that kind of an energy so that's a really really beautiful card to end the reading with but let us actually check out these cards now so as we had said a win-win outcome was in the past let's see what we have what are the knight of pentacles so leo this could be an earth sign in your energy this could just you be so could be you embodying these energies where you know, you're moving forward steadily. You are a fixed sign also, very much like a Taurian. So if you're moving slowly, that's a pretty signature for a Leo, yeah? Um, because there's a sense of needing to know. There's um, a need for certainty. It's almost like I've been through so much. There has been so much uncertainty and I have been hanging on by a thread. I cannot handle much more where I don't know what's coming or what, you know, where I'm going in life. This is, it's almost like this desire or this need in this person. It's like, see this coin in front of me? I'm holding it. I know I'm holding it. That is reality. That is tangible. I've got it in my hand. Yeah? I know it's real. Telling me to believe things that aren't, you know, manifesting in the, my physical world, it's too hard for me. So I feel like this is to do with your spiritual progress in a sense, because it's like the battle that happens between the heart and the mind. Like, you're being told to believe in the unseen, to believe you know, to have hope beyond what is going on in the physical world around you, but it's hard to sometimes. You know, you know the physical stuff you can manifest, you can create it. It's easy, that's the easy stuff. But having faith, that's the tricky part. Yeah. And I think it's probably because of the experiences that you've had. Like my eyes fell on a win-win outcome is forecast. Again, it's kind of like, you're not this nervous person, Leah. You're only feeling this way because of recent experiences, the things that have happened to you. So, it's almost like this once bitten, twice shy, oh no, I've been there, and oh, I don't want to deal with this experience again. You know, it really gives me that feeling. <clears throat> and also, considering we've got the Five of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Five of Cups, which is the cup of, sorry, the card of emotional loss, mourning emotional loss. So this could have been a relationship breakdown, this could have been a divorce, separation, this could have been the loss of a family or a friend, you know, de being deceased even. Um... But this is a lot of sadness here. There's a lot of tears. There's you know, three out of five cups have been lost. But you've got to understand that not all is lost. Those two cups behind you. If you were to just stop feeling so sad and turn around, you would see the blessings that are still in your life. Yeah? And the universe really would like you to realize that. Because, yes, you've been through some stuff, but not all is lost. Yeah? <laughs> it ain't over until the... Yeah. Lady sings. And I hate saying certain terminology, so I won't. Um, but yeah, I think you get what I'm trying to say. Like, just don't throw in the towel before it's all over, because justice is coming. Some sort of justice or some sort of balance of karma is happening. So if these people had hurt you and betrayed you, the ones in the Five of Cups, they're going to get what they deserve. And if you're going through court cases of separation or something like that, everybody will come out on top. It will be a fair and just outcome, especially with that the Moonology card being there and the Justice card. Like... If there is a legal thing or a negotiation or something like that involved here, I feel like things are going to work out fairly for all parties involved. And I say that because this is a card of calm, civilized <laughs> discussion. So if there has been 
a relationship breakdown where there's custody, blah, 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 and things have been nasty, it feels like some form of justice is going to play out so that people will be able to calm down and collaborate peacefully and discuss things and be able to negotiate things for a peaceful outcome for everybody. Um, because it's kind of like justice with the card of discussion, you know, reviewing things, looking at how things are, how far, how things have progressed, what has taken place kind of thing. So yeah, if you're looking at, you know, property separations, things like that, yeah, you would be looking at what was accumulated between a couple before you decide to separate it. So things like that, that could apply. Um, but there are different kind of negotiations. You might be in work contract negotiations and this could be like interviews and meetings and things like that where going, well, we want to give you a fair um, contract, a fair amount of money. Let's have a look. You know, maybe we can test you. Maybe we can um, get your qualifications, blah, 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 something like that. Um, it could be about wanting a pay raise, wanting fairness, because you do so much, you want a pay raise. So you're going through some sort of jumping of hoops through achieve, to achieve that. <clears throat> okay. Um, but yeah, I just feel like whatever it is, it's all calm and it's peaceful and it's good. There's nothing wrong. It's almost like... In this situation, in this card, you look like you're the elevated one standing on that stool, yeah? So whatever it is, like, you'll feel good about it. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to the next card. Um, a Six of Cups. There is a soulmate. Either coming into the picture or has come into the picture. Or there's a realisation of a connection going on. Um, and the reason why I say there's a realisation of a connection going on, because if you found out that you have a twin flame and you're with a karmic, that karmic and you have had a little clash in the recent past and I believe that that relationship may have come to an end. This could be a friend, family, anybody. Karmics do not have to be partners and twin flames do not have to be partners either. Neither do soulmates or divine counterparts. You can have <laughs> platonic dynamics in that connection too, yeah? Um, so it does not have to be but I feel like there has been something that has come to an end because of this realisation. Because these cards are pretty much sitting right next to each other. It's kind of like, oh, hello, this is all me. Oh, but then something ends. Yeah. <laughs> something that needs to be ending to make way for this soulmate to come into your life. So we'll move on to the energy. is gaining momentum in the present. Um, we have the King of Cups. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like this could be that soulmate or the twin flame or divine counterpart, whoever it is. What a sign. Very, very emotional, but very, very balanced. They're quite mature emotionally and mentally, but they know how to be young at heart and they can enjoy their life. They're very peaceful. They're a blissful kind of person. Like, there's a very um, zen energy about this person, which is like, it doesn't matter what's going on, they can keep their cool no matter what. And I think you really are drawn to that there, because, you know, being a fire sign, you are fiery. <laughs> so either you're starting to embody this energy and somebody's going to be drawn to you, or... This is somebody, your twin flame soulmate, whoever this is, possibly, um, that is coming into your life. And now, they may actually be somebody that's returning to your life. Okay. This is possible, possible that you once had a soulmate in your life and it ended. And now, in the current, this soulmate is making a return with this King of Cups, followed by the Judgment card. Judgment card is about rising from the dead. What was once dead and buried is now being given another chance or lease of life, yeah? So it is very possible that this is a twin flame or a calm or a soulmate that is coming back into your life. You may have broken up recently, you may have broken up a long time ago, this was in the past, yeah? So it's just a very simple snapshot of what's going on. But I feel like this person wants another chance. They could be a water sign, they could be an earth sign, could be any sign. Um, but they're very emotionally balanced. It's almost like they weren't this person when you knew them last, but they would like a second chance with you, okay, Leo, or vice versa, because they see the potential for you guys to build an empire, to be, you know, grow, grow old happily together, to have kids, dog, build business, all of that stuff, everything, you know, that you could imagine, your big picture, whatever it is that you want for yourself. <clears throat> this person sees that with you. And it's, I feel like you're going to say no, though. I really do, because we've got the card of feeling left out in the cold. It's almost like, no, you left me feeling, you did this to me. You left me in the cold. You ghosted me. You walked away. You are the one that walked away from me in the past. Now, I'm going to walk away from you. However, when this is followed up by the five of wands, which is about pettiness, immature behavior, it's about children fighting amongst themselves, 
please, 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 Leo, do not make the wrong decision and say no to your soulmate just because your ego wants to get in the mix, okay? If this really is a soulmate connection, don't let your head do the decision making, your heart do the decision making, please. Because I feel like somebody has had an epiphany and a realization and they see you for what you really are now and they may have grown a lot and you might actually be embodying this very immature energy in the present thing where I'm not sure why well, okay mars is in the astrology at the moment so yes if you're holding grudges and if you haven't started healing and forgiving the back the wrongs of your past you will very much be embodying this five of ones energy and being a little bit petty and going nah stuff you you hurt me i'm gonna hurt you now it's like really are you really gonna get any satisfaction out of that leo yeah, and you know what, uh, just to test my theory and see if I might be wrong, I'm going to pull some clarifiers, please, just to see if there's anything else that my guide's going to add to this. Alright, so I'm just going to clarify the five of pentacles. What's this feeling left out in the cold? Who's feeling left out in the cold? Is it the or is it the other person? The page of swords. It's an air sign, possibly, that is feeling left out in the cold. Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? And who's walking away? <laughs> who's walking away? The tower. Whoever it is, that's it. The tower person. Whoever it was in the past that you had this conflict with, is that's the person that you're going to be walking away from. Okay, and 5-1. So is that Leo being that way? Give me more info on that. <laughs> Alright. So it's about waiting for your ships to come in. It's like you have a soulmate connection. You know this person was a karmic. So you don't really care how it plays out with this person. So <laughs> I understand it. Letting people have it for what they have been in your life is something that comes pretty naturally to even us Torians. I understand it, Leo. Totally. But yeah, um, it's almost like... <laughs> Don't annoy me. Don't try and come back into my life. I'm waiting for good things to happen for me. So shush, go away, fly. <laughs> it's out of my face, you know, like, oh, it's good. I like it. Okay, so let's move on to the future. Your commitment is being tested in the first quarter moon. As we were saying, the universe is about to grant some wishes. That's what I'm, you're waiting for your ships to come in because you feel it in your heart and soul. You know something good is about to happen. Something is about to shift for you. A lot of spiritual people, they're very, very much on their path. Um, not advanced, um, have picked that up too, and they've felt it, that shifts are coming, you know, think the world is changing drastically, by the end of the year I think we'll be living in a very different place, but it's all for the best, and there's a lot of divinely orchestrated unions coming in for twin flames, um, and divine counterparts, so I really feel like you can feel that, that's why we've got, in the future, it's like, I'm just waiting, I'm sitting here waiting for the universe to open up these curtains and show me my goodies, yeah? I know that's all mine behind there, but I just don't know what it is. It's like, I'm waiting for Christmas. <laughs> Light work for Christmas. But in the meanwhile, in the future, you will be feeling a little bit tired. So make sure you are drinking enough water, you know, taking vitamins, nourishing yourself appropriately, getting enough sleep, having salt baths, you know, Epsom salt baths, all of that kind of thing. If you need to, um, Reiki, energy clearing, all of these things can help um, maintain your sanity and keep going when you are feeling quite drained like this card depicts yeah uh, it's not a good energy because the energies at the moment are quite intense so if you're not getting enough sleep if you're not drinking enough water things like that they can all affect you <laughs> all right so please look after yourself dear um because the thing is you're feeling very passionate in the future or now this could be you this could be somebody else coming towards you it's um the fire sign card aries leo sagittarius but this is about a messenger who's very, very passionate. He uh, has a lot to say. He's learnt so much. He's ended some major cycles in his life. And he has a lot to say. Whether it's does not men matter gender-specific, can be predominant in male energy. But they're enthusiastic. They're passionate. They have a lot to share. They have a message for someone. And they're facing the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is someone, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, but they're someone that's been through a lot in life and they've healed a lot they've transformed they've grown someone that's you know gone through this transformation few dark night of the soul things like that but done a lot of healing so they're evolved enough not to hurt people with the damage that they've picked up in their life you know 
and I feel like you have a message for this air sign person. It doesn't have to be an air sign, it can be anybody, but it's someone that's a very analytical, very quick witted, very calm as well. <laughs> he's, he's so chill. Um, but he's a no mess, no fuss, you know? He tells it like it is, he walks his talk. So there's no messing around with this person, and that's a good thing. They're, the kind of person is what you see is what you get. <laughs> Very authentic, very sincere, very real. I like this person, whoever they are, they are. They're a good person. And I feel like that this person could be actually your twin flame. Because this spiritual union card is following that. Okay. So I really feel like this twin flame may be coming back. May have been a past connection. Or may even be a new connection. Where you may have stuffed up and now you're the one delivering a message. Possibly an apology to the King of Swords. And there's a reconnection going on. And in the reconnection, there's a lot of healing going on of this connection. With Twin Flames, there is a lot of past life baggage and karmic baggage sometimes that needs healing. So if this is Twin Flame connection, you know, spiritual union, <laughs> Nine of Cups, the universe is about to grant some wishes. You're feeling tired, but you've got a message for someone. <laughs> someone who's very evolved, come a long way, very, been through a few dark nights of the soul, evolved a lot, healed a lot. And there is a spiritual union in the mix here, whether it's this person and you, or somebody else and you, <clears throat> or somebody in your energy that you're very close to. But there is a lot of healing and a lot of beautiful connection happening here. Okay, so I'm hoping that that resonated and that helped you guys, Leah. I'm going to end this reading with some Heart and Soul Oracle cards and some Aboriginal Totem Oracle cards. So, firstly, we have this card. Every relationship goes through changes, but this does not mean that the love has gone. Let this be a time of reflection. Some adjustments may be needed. Perhaps a new purpose needs to be discovered. It may feel cold and lonely, but beneath the surface, the earth is warming to the promise of spring. In the meanwhile, express how you feel, gently, lovingly, and honestly. Let yourselves be vulnerable and hold each other tight. <laughs> That's beautiful. Then we have, within each of us, there is a masculine and feminine aspect, and in order to have perfect harmony, these two aspects should be equally balanced. When our masculine, positive, and judgmental side is equally balanced with our feminine, negative, and compassionate side, then we are in perfect alignment with our true nature. To achieve this balance, we must embrace, love, and value both the positive and negative sides of our nature. Wow. <laughs> um, and then the final card for this is... You may not be aware of it yet, but a tapestry of full of positive outcomes and spiritual blessings now permeates your aura. The grey clouds have lifted, replaced by soft, radiant light. The past will soon be behind you. Let it go and embrace the positive times ahead. That is beautiful. Okay, and final three messages from the Aboriginal Totem Oracle. Okay, three messages, please, guys. Okay. We've got weariness. No one has your best interest at heart. Others have their own agendas. Step up and take control of this situation. It's the very thing that people are not expecting you to do. Hmm, that was the image there. Then we've got <clears throat> decisions. It's your decision whether you keep this up or let it go, but continuing will not change the circumstances or the outcome. Then we've got assuredness. It's time to challenge this situation and say this is not good enough. Stand tall and take a stand. It's time to show the world just how damn tough you are. There you go, Leo. I'm hoping that that resonated. Sending you all love and light. I will see you for the full moon.